Introducing Rechar, a developer of small-scale biomass pyrolyzers. These units can convert solid biomass waste, such as wood or agricultural residues, into liquid fuel and biochar. In the following video, we demonstrate the process with one of our analytical pyrolyzers. In the first step, raw biomass is collected and fed into a hopper at the top of the pyrolyzer. In this case, we've used about a kilogram of wood chips mixed with sawdust. Raw material is loaded into the hopper and gets fed through the system via a vacuum feeder. This vacuum feeder ensures that there is very little oxygen in the reactor. The material falls through a vertical heated pipe. This pipe is wrapped with high efficiency electric heaters and high density insulation. Inside the reactor, the pyrolysis reaction takes place. The heaters maintain a temperature of roughly 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. At the center of the reactor, temperatures range from about 900 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. At these temperatures, biomass flash pyrolyzes into biochar, which we collect in this canister, and hydrocarbon vapor, which we separate and send to a condenser, where it is cooled to room temperature forming a liquid fuel called bio-oil. The bio-oil is collected at this sampling port. The remaining non-condensable gases, primarily methane and CO, are recirculated into the reactor using a high-efficiency blower. These gases are fed through the yellow pipe wrapped around the reactor. This utilizes the waste heat to improve overall efficiency and drive material through this vacuum feeder. If we remove the char collector, you can see that gas flows easily through the unit. Here, a technician removes biochar from the char collector. In our commercial installations, this process is automated. The biochar is very rich in carbon and other nutrients. When it is added to agricultural soils, it can actually improve crop yield by as much as 20%. Here's what the material looked like before, and here's what it looks like after. The mass is reduced by a factor of one-third. Finally, here we show the liquid fuel or bio-oil that is produced during pyrolysis. This bio-oil can be used for heating or to run a diesel generator to produce electricity. To learn more about our technology, the biochar concept, or our other commercial installations, please contact us via email, telephone, or visit us on the web at www.re-char.com.